So uh, tell us a little about Monsters and Magic. Well, this is this is our project for this year. It's a it's a brand new RPG, um, and it's it's basically imagine if Dungeons and Dragons and Fate got together and had a love child. This is it. Um, it's um, an old school um, role playing vibe, but it has new school mechanics. So if you want, for example, to imagine that uh, you could do intimidation attacks or that you could have social conflicts or that you could uh, affect the environment with your abilities and so on, you can do that with this. So imagine the sort of fate style of game, a slightly more narrative game. But the real reason um, that I think it's quite innovative is that um, it allows you to use all of your old Dungeons and & Dragons and old school material uh, without conversion. Or with very little conversion. Ah, so just yeah. sort of move straight over. And is the, the advice on how to do this in... Yep. I mean, there's, there's, there's almost nothing to do. It's, imagine you've got um, your old school games. You, you take out the rules mechanic and you slot in a new rules mechanic. And this is what this is. It's called the Effect Engine. Um, and it's a 3D6 mechanic. Um, and you, you basically add modifiers for things like traits and abilities. Um, match them against difficulty and the numbers that you get over or below the difficulty are currency that you can do to do cool stuff in the game. Yeah. But, um, for example, if you've got your um, Steeding of the Hill Giant Chief, your Tomb of Horrors, or I play all my old Judges Guild material, World Runs oh. of High Fantasy and things, you can use monster manuals and spell books that you find online or that you might have in your collection without, without conversion with it. So it's, a, it's a basically a rules overlay, a modern rules overlay to your old school material. Oh, that sounds, sounds like an excellent way to do it. So like the fate stuff is a little more story driven and sort of the trait type mechanics coming through. That yes, kind of thing. yeah, yeah. Um, and, but it's also, it's not a narrative story game by any sense of the imagination. It's, it's very much the play that you get is your, your traditional um, dungeoneering, your traditional campaign adventuring. But the things that you can do within that um, are, are more are broader, are more, are more that you would expect to find in modern games. So it does give your old modules a new lease of life. You can play them in different ways. So what else have you been working on this year? Well, I mean, I've done a fair bit of fiction this year. Um, I've written a, a novel for the Chronicles of Future Earth setting um, and some short stories for um, World War Cthulhu anthology by Cubicle 7 um, and also um, for Stoneskin Press by Pelgrane. Um, and... Uh, some short stories for the Egypt Egyptological Society, um, based on the, on using mummies and things like that. There's a campaign coming out for Leagues of Adventure from Triple Ace Games, uh, which I wrote, which is a, a sort of expedition to the roof of the world. Which uh, I think is two parts are out at the moment, but the next two parts are coming out early next year. Oh, and my big project has been um, the Mindjammer Role Playing Game, which is uh, the second edition RPG, and it's currently running a little bit late. Um, Fake Core itself released later than expected um, and we wanted to make sure that the game is completely fake core compatible and we're now about two weeks away from finishing layout starting pre-orders and copies will be shipping very early in the new year so oh actions is really coming to, together yeah it's it's almost almost done um, so you should be able to get your hands on a an early version pdf before christmas will be now. oh excellent yeah, that's sounding good Oh, so that sounds like a really quite busy year there. It's been manic. I think this is my first role-playing game convention since we sat here last year, to be honest. It's been, <laughs> it's been crazy. Well, thank you very much. That's been very really much. good. Thanks for having me. <laughs> oh, man.